Hey, what's up, everyone? Johnny Man here, and welcome to part 29 of Save Our Saints. Today's episode, we take on AZ Alkmaar in the Europa League group stages. And we also got Liverpool. We've had a great start to the campaign, yet to be defeated in the league. And I hope that continues today up against the Scousers. Once again, everyone, welcome back to Save Our Saints today. As I mentioned, it's episode number 29. We take on AZ Alkmaar and Liverpool. But there has been about five games since the last time you joined me. So let's go take a look at some of those results. Uh, next up was a 1-1 one, one draw against Brighton. We beat them on penalties, though, in the Carabao third round cup. I rotated uh, a decent amount of the, uh, the squad out. Uh, Simon Marks had making his first start of the season and getting himself injured in the 15 minutes. So, great start there for Simon in his season. Uh, goal for Erlenhard in the 18th minute. Davy Proper uh, equalising the 63rd minute. And uh, yeah, we just beat them on penalties there. Goals from Lacazette, Gustavo, Clive Birch, and Uni Miss came from Casimo, um, obviously, for us. But uh, we dominated in performance. Disappointed not to beat him in regulation though. Next up was a 1-1 draw against Arsenal. A very credible result, honestly, of you away at the Emirates. It's been a very tough place for us to go in the last couple of seasons. So to see us draw 1-1 and actually play pretty well was encouraging signs. A uh, goal from William in the second minute for Arsenal gave them the lead, but Erlen Harlem responded in the 25th minute. All right, and our first and only defeat of the season came against Valencia away from home in the Europa League. Obviously, uh, we went down to uh, 10 men, unfortunately, in the seventh minute with Issa Diop getting an automatic red card on a late challenge. Um, we actually went 2-0 down. We fought back really well uh, and actually leveled the game. Uh, Lacazette got a goal in the 60th minute. Erlen Holland got a goal in the 82nd minute, but unfortunately, we just couldn't hold on. And Rodrigo uh, gave Valencia the victory in the 86th minute. But a very, very spirited performance from the boys, and I'm not disappointed at how we played. All right, we got back to winning wins, though, in the Premier League here. Uh, two on win over Watford. Had to come behind from this one as well. Uh, Batshuayi get a goal in the second minute for Watford. Erlen Haaland and Matthias Vecino. Vecino get a goal in the 94th minute of the game. And what a great goal it was as well, giving us all three points. Next up was a 1-1 draw against Bournemouth here. Goal from Jack Grealish, uh, cancelled out by Lewis Cook in the 63rd minute. A dominating display, but unfortunately we just couldn't crack open the Bournemouth defence. And uh, overall disappointed to have dropped, uh, I think lost two points in this game. That's a game we really should have expected to win. A whole back line, by the way, getting all yellow cards in this one. Kind of strange. So looking at things right now, as you can see, we are top of the table here with 24 points, 10 games gone in the season. It's been a great start to the campaign for the guys. Obviously, Erlen Haaland, by the way, leading all goal scorers in the Premier League with nine goals to his season already. Great start from Erlen Haaland up top. Man of the Match awards, Danilo's in there as well with three in the first 10 games. Overall, it's just been a great start to the campaign. Up against Liverpool today, obviously hoping to extend that run. And um, based on recent performances, I'm fancy us getting a result against them. But first and foremost, we have to play AZ Alkmaar. After losing the Valencia game, we have to try and beat AZ now uh, twice. Uh, we're playing twice in a row, I believe, in the Europa League. So we have to beat them twice just to make sure we get to the next stage of the Europa League and then we can start resting some players again. So it's pretty much going to be a full strength lineup, a few minor changes, a few minor twists. Um, Angus Gunn's going to be in goal. Danilo's going to start at right back. Diallo is going to play as the ball playing defender. And Mavroponis gets a start next to him today ahead of Wesley Hoyt. And uh, I've rested. Obviously, we have Issa Diop suspended. But uh, Wesley Hoyt. Um, Ryan Bertrand coming at left back. Midfield of Vecino and Didi. Um, Lacassette's going to start on the right hand side of midfield. Jack Grealish uh, in the hole. Marte on the left. And of course, Erlen Harlan leading the line. Who has 12 goals this campaign in just 12 appearances. What a great start to the year for Erlen Harlan. All right, so here we go. And you notice, by the way, we have face packs. Yep, I decided to download a face pack. And this is one of my favorite ones I found um, that I was able to download and get it to work. And um, yeah, I, I like it. Um, as you can see, I don't know, it just looks nice for a change. Yeah, so... Uh there you go. We're improving the quality of the save by downloading face packs. There you go. Uh, so anyway, here we go. Up against uh, AZ Akmar at home. I do expect us to get a victory today. We are much, much stronger than they are, um, to be honest. I looked through their 11th earlier, and there wasn't any players that really made me nervous. I think Stephen Ward, by the way, still plays for them. Yeah, Stephen Ward, the uh, the former Wolves and uh, Burnley left back there, plays for them still. 36 years old, getting a bit long in the tooth, but I'm sure he's still a solid player as ever. All right, early corner kick, kick, Grealish whips the ball in. Harlan with the header. 
peeling off the mat at the near post like he often does, but this time he couldn't get his header on target. All right, here's Anderson now to Lod. Lod to Henriksen to Marone. Lod, obviously uh, Azadama are actually packing the midfield of four centre midfielders, two defensive, two in the middle of the park, and obviously expecting the wing backs to push on to give them width. Here's Anderson now trying to do that for them. Lays it inside to Henriksen, back to Anderson. Anderson confronted by Martial. There's Tribal Marone to Henriksen. Well worked here from Aze Akmar. That's a good challenge from Danilo when we get the ball clear. But uh, failed to hold on to possession. There's Lacazette dispossessed to Stephen Ward. Now here's Lacazette. Now he could burn Stephen Ward today with his pace. He crossed it into Erling Haaland. Makes it 1-0. 13th goal of the season there for Erling Haaland. And uh, assist there from Alexander Lacazette. He's uh, a leading assist uh, maker, by the way, this season so far. I think that's his fifth assist on the campaign. So Lacazette proven to be a very, very profitable loan signing for us. All right, so we go. Another highlight here. The uh, third highlight in 10 minutes. It's been a pretty open game thus far. So here's uh, Danilo now, hits it long, Haaland's now through on goal, one more with the keeper, Erling Haaland, good save there from uh, Casilla in goal for uh, AZ. Alright, corner kick, Hemmingson whips the ball in, Diallo with the clearance, Grealish now has a chance to launch a counter attack, hits it long, Haaland's going to grab that, he does so beautifully, brings it down, gets in the box, Erling Haaland drags a shot wide, always danger on the counter attack, Erling Haaland. Alright, so Casilla hits it long now, mouth of Pornis, uh, misplaces header, there's a chance for AZ now, and Zhang Yunin has equalised for AZ Akmar, the first shot of the game. A mistake from Mavroponis, head of the ball straight into the path of the AZ Akmar midfielder. The Hemrickson and uh, yeah, Zhang went through and through, one on one there. Poor defending there from Mavroponis and place it underneath Angus Gunn, who was pretty much helpless. And it's 1-1. Right, here's Lacazette now, good ball forward to Holland and a good save there from Casilla, tipping it around the post. Harlan has had a couple of chances today. He probably should have a hat-trick by now, but uh, unfortunately he's only got one to his name. There's Maverick Ponis with a header and a good save there from Kiko Casillo in goal. Uh, an injury got here. Ryan Bertrand, unfortunately, has picked up a knock. Uh, potential knee injury. Let's take him off here for Jeremy Tolgen. Uh, can play left wing back pretty pretty effectively, so it's not too much of a blow for us. But anyway, here's uh, Tolgen now. Throws into Grealish. Martial. Martial to uh, Grealish. Back to Martial. Lays it to Vecino, gets in there, Matthias Vecino, great half volley there for Matthias, gets a second goal of the campaign, and he puts us back in front here, and richly deserved as well, we've largely dominated the game, only a mistake from Mavroponis gave AZ Akmar the chance to get back into wings, but um, still a really good finish here, Vecino on the half volley, cutting across his body, Casilla got a can to it, but wasn't strong enough, and uh, it's 2-1. Alright, here's Grealish now, whips the ball in, Lacassette with the header, Haaland uh, off the post, and straight into the hands of the goalkeeper. Unlucky there from uh, the boys. Well worked uh, set piece. Anyway, here's uh, Jack Grealish. The Tolgen now galloping down the left-hand side. Uh, back to Ndidi. To Grealish. To Vecino. Vecino. Out wide to Danilo. Danilo. Good cross into Haaland. He missed the first chance. Well saved in the end. But uh, Erlen Haaland latched onto the rebound. And he gets his second goal of the game. And he makes it 3-1 to Southampton just before the break. And uh, we're looking completely in control of this game. All right, halftime here, and it's a 3-1 to the good up against AZ Akmar. And honestly, it's um, really, on, we really should be 3 nil up, to be honest. We should be more than that if Erlen Haaland actually finished some of those chances. Uh, if we get early goal here in the second half, I'll start to ring out the changes and get people prepared for the uh, Liverpool game at the weekend. That's obviously going to be uh, the priority. We're going to move on to that one. So if we get a chance, we'll probably take, on, take off Erlen Haaland and rest some legs up in preparation for the Liverpool game. All right, first highlight, second half here is Henriksen to Lod. Lod Henriksen, back to Lod again, playing a game of uh, keep away. Here's uh, Stephen Ward now galloping down the left-hand side. Good tackle there from Lacassette. Poor, poor clearance in the end, though. Harlan Holland does well to win it back, though. There's Vecino. Good ball from Lacassette. Harlan's now through on goal. Chance for his hat-trick. Erling Harlan chips it straight into the hands of the keeper. He should have had a hat-trick today, really. And... Uh, it's only for his own fault he hasn't got one. Um, anyway, Henson Lang to Zhang Yun. Now, Tolzhen kept him on side, and Angus Gunn is forced into a decent save there. Tolzhen there kept him uh, on side here. He was about five yards behind the uh, defensive line. That was a poor, poor positional play there from Jeremy Tolzhen. Anyway, here's a chance on the counter attack. Harlan now taking on uh, the defender. He's got Grealish Gray. Finds him. Jack Grealish. Oh, that was another great chance. Jack really should have made it 4 1. All right, we'll make a change here. Uh, we're we'll bringing on Thomas Harlan uh, for Vettino, getting ready for the weekend. Uh, and then we'll also bring on Casimo for Erlen Harlan. He's had plenty of chances to get his hat-trick today. So we'll bring on Casimo for the last uh, 25 minutes or so. 
All right, 75 minutes on the clock here. Still 3 1 to the good. Um, here's Stephen War, tackle there from Lacassette. Doing well defensively today, Lacassette. He's made a few good, uh, nicely timed challenge. Uh, here's the grass and our throw and goal. Get in there, Cosimo. Mark of the grass. That makes it uh, 4 1. That's his fourth goal of the season. And assist there from the uh, substitute as well, from Thomas Harlan. He's actually created a number of opportunities. Um, I noticed in the uh, some of the advanced uh, statistics that he's uh, managed to uh, complete three clear passes a game or something like that, key passes a game, uh, which means he's obviously creating opportunities for his fellow teammates. That's a very encouraging sign there from a young player, the fact he has that much of an impact in the first team. But uh, going into the last five minutes of this game, it looks like it's going to be a comfortable 4-1 victory over AZ. And obviously, um, we can move on now to the Liverpool game, where it should be a much, much sterner test. All right, so the injury to Ryan Bertrand, he's now going to be out five to seven days of a twisted knee, which means he's going to miss the Liverpool game. So we're going to have their Matt Target on standby, or potentially uh, Jeremy Tolgin. Haven't quite decided who's going to play there yet. All right, so here we go up against uh, Liverpool at Anfield. Uh, this has always been a very tough place for us to go, as you can see. Six games against them so far in this save, and we've yet to pick up a single point against the Liverpool side. I'm hoping that will change today. Obviously led by, um, by the way, Pep Guardiola is manager of Liverpool in strange circumstances. I'm actually going to take a quick look here at uh, his, uh, his history. I want to see uh, what actually happened. How did he get here? milestones here we go so yeah he was let me see he left he, he actually left the man city to join liverpool's manager that's a bit of a twist there isn't it um very very strange circumstance and um so far he's done pretty well for them i guess um he was uh runners up in the european super cup winners in the community shield uh winners of the obviously champions league 2021 winners of the premier league in 2021 as well so obviously the success has continued here for pep guardiola and i'm uh Obviously, looking to try and uh, spoil the party today. So, anyway, here we go. Uh, this line I'm going to go with uh, for this one. Angus Gunn's going to be in gold. Danilo right back. Issa Diop comes back into the side, as you can see, to partner Abdul Diallo. Uh, Jeremy Tolgin at left back is going to be him today instead of Matthew Target. I've decided to go for Jeremy Tolgin, despite him being a predominantly right footed player. Um, he can still do a good job there at left back. I actually wait, rate him better going forward than Matt Target, which is why I'm having him into that there today. Uh, Vecino, obviously, in midfield next to Ndidi. Uh, Lacazette keeps his job at right wing. I was thinking about bringing Clive up back in, but Lacazette's going to keep the job for now. Jack Grealish in the hole, Martial left wing, and then obviously Erling Haaland leading the line. All right, take a look at this Liverpool team we're up against today. Um, Alisson Becker still in goal. He's actually rated the highest rated goalkeeper in the Premier League. And as you can see, supremely talented goalkeeper. Yeah, no doubt about it. Very, very good player. Bad at 60 million, earning 205,000 pounds a week. So Alisson's doing pretty well for himself. Um, Alexander, I don't know about him. Robertson at uh, left wing back. Umatiti is playing. Umtiti, sorry, is playing at the uh, heart of defence next to Virgil van Dijk. That is a fantastic partnership, isn't it? Uh, Umtiti and van Dijk. Um, Jordan Henson's still kicking around, as you can see, as a holding midfielder. Hasn't played that much this season for them, though. Uh, only two starts in the Premier League uh, for the, uh, what is now a veteran captain of this team. Uh, Fabino, obviously in midfield still there with uh, Lucas Paqueta. Now as a player, I actually almost signed myself for Southampton, but I pulled out of the £15 million deal that I had for him at that point. Um, turns out to be a pretty good player, but I look at things too. Lucas Paqueta, there you go. Very, very talented player. Um, Mo Salah on the right, uh, Guedes on the left-hand side. Don't know actually too much about this kid, but... Looks pretty talented, nevertheless. Uh, plenty of pace. Good old-fashioned winger by the look of things inside forward. Uh, Roberto Firmino leads the line here. Uh, Bobby Firmino, he's done pretty well. As you can see, he scored lots of goals in the Premier League. 20, in fact, in the first season. 19 in the second. 13 last season. He's only notched up two in this one. So he's on, I guess you could say, a slight decline for Bobby Firmino. He is our 30 years old now. So I wouldn't say he's over the hill quite yet, but uh, you can definitely see his production is starting to dip. But anyway, here we go. Up against uh, Liverpool. At Anfield, uh, difficult circumstances today. Explain the downpour and weather, which doesn't really suit our style of football. We like to play it ball to feet on the ground. Very neat stuff. So this should make uh, things a little bit more tricky. Um, obviously, you're playing away from home as well. It's been a very difficult place for us to visit. But anyway, here's an early chance of Liverpool. Be terrible to go 1-0 down here within a minute. Paquette plays it all the way back. Harlem flick on. That should end the highlight there to begin the game. But uh, let's get a go in Saints. Let's get another good uh, couple of points maybe against uh, top six team. But anyway, here's uh, Vicino to Tolgin. Tolgin now cuts onto his right foot. Jeremy Tolgin. Oh, what a great effort there from Jeremy Tolgin. Should have found the back of the net. That was a glorious chance from the uh, makeshift left back. 
Uh, Chesnoff for Guedes now gets in the box. Danilo makes the clearance, though. Here's uh, Lacassette trying to launch a long counter-attack here. Harland does ball, beats Van Dijk. Erling Haaland's through on goal. Oh, Erling Haaland almost torched the former Southampton centre-back there. Erling Haaland's a handful for anyone. And that was evidence there. And there's Van Dijk off the crossbar. And Martial makes the, uh, the clearance away. Virgil van Dijk almost scoring against his the former team. All right, so here we go. We've got 29 minutes on the clock here. We're actually playing very, very well. Um, here's Haaland now. It's a great chance. Erling Haaland's three on goal. Erling Haaland makes it 1-0 to Southampton. 15th goal of the season for Erling Haaland. And we open the score in here at Anfield there. Route 1 football from the boys. Very neat stuff in the end, though. Like I said, brings the ball down. Plays it in between Umtiti and Virgil van Dijk. And Haaland latches onto it and finishes it beautifully under Allison. And it's 1-0 to the Saints. All right, here's Grealish now for the set piece. Whips the ball in beautifully. Toljan with the header at the back post. Did not expect him to be there, but that was a really good header there from uh, Jeremy Toljan. And a uh, good save in the end from Allison. There's a chance for Liverpool in the break. Firmino's through on goal, and he makes it 1-1. One, one. Fell asleep at the back there from the attacking set piece, and uh, Guedes capitalized it later on our plate for Firmino. And um, what a what a, <laughs> what a uh, goal kick that was, by the way, from, uh, from Allison and... Uh, yeah, disappointing to be level now, but uh, you got to be careful against teams like Liverpool because that will happen a lot. All right, 39 minutes on the clock, and this first half, and it's felt like it's lasted forever for some reason. Anyway, here's Robertson now to Fabino. Fabino plays it to Mo Salah, who kept him quiet so far today. Of course, that could be the commentator's curse. There's Guedes now, he's through on goal, and he finds it back in the net. 2 1 to Liverpool here just before the break. Mo Salah, Maisie run. Breaking up our midfield and laying it to Guedes. And um, in a, a bit of a perhaps dodgy goalkeeping of an Angus Gunn. Take another look at this again. Angus Gunn, yeah, didn't really have any chance, to be honest with you. Good finish there for uh, Gonzalo Guedes. All right, so another highlight just before the end of the first half here. Here's uh, um, Titi to Guedes. Guedes now cuts inside, driving at the heart of our defense. There's Mo Salah. It's in the box, and that's a great finish there for Mo Salah. And Liverpool made it 3-1 now, just before the break. And um, <laughs> while I was hoping to be a fantastic day here at Anfield, all of a sudden looks like it might turn into a nightmare. All right, halftime here, 3-1 down. And honestly, we don't deserve to be 3-1 down at all. Uh, we've actually had better possession than they have. And honestly, we're, we're creating as many chances as they had too. But unfortunately, they've managed to take their chances while we have missed a couple ourselves. So going in the second half here, I'm not going to make too many changes quite yet, obviously. Um, I will make some as the game progresses if we don't get an early goal here. We do have options on the bench, obviously the likes of Justin Clivert, um, Patrick Roberts, Thomas Harlan. Obviously the grass has come on and done well for us in the past. So we have plenty of options, but we just got to make sure we stay solid, don't concede any more goals and maybe snatch one here early on. But here's a chance perhaps. Here's Erling Haaland now. Get to the uh, byline. Good tackle there from Virgil van Dijk, clearing out Erling Haaland. And smashes the ball long. Diop with the interception, lays it on a plate to Salah. Here's Salah in the box now, and Mo Salah smashes the ball wide. All right, so here's Danilo now to Lacassette. Back to Danilo, to Grealish, to Danilo again. Grealish well worked here from the Saints, working away in the box, but gives it all away cheaply there to Robertson. And a chance now, perhaps Liverpool on the break. Here's Guedes to Firmino, Firmino. Intercepted by Toljan. Now here's Haaland. As we can stage something here. Here's Martial driving at the heart of the fence. There's Erling Haaland. So Jack Grealish. Oh, it's taken off his foot. That would have been a great chance for Jack Grealish there. But uh, good defending there from, I think that was Virgil van Dijk. All right, make a change here. Martial had a really poor game today. 6.2 rating overall. Justin Clivert's going to come on there to play left inside forward. Um, I'm also tempted to maybe change things around. Have indeed he play a little bit deeper just to help attack the back line. Defensive midfielder on support. And then Vicino can do that job as well. We'll have him as a ball. Uh, no, we'll do defensive mid on support. And then we'll do Indeedy as a ball midfielder on defend. And then what we'll do is we'll have two up top. We'll have Haaland and we'll bring off Grealish. And then we'll have the Grasa play alongside him. So uh, two pressing forwards up top. Probably not ideal, is it? Um, nah, it's fine. We'll have two pressing forwards, two inside forwards, and then uh, we'll see if we can do something with this. So we have to change something because we want to get something out of this game. This will be our first defeat in the Premier League. We might as well give it a go. We might as well go down swinging, right? Uh, all right, so here's um, Alexander now to Mo Salah. 
of course, it could, could go horribly wrong here and we could go on to, to lose this game 5 or 6-1, but I thought, why not do something different, give them a, a different look, because what, what was what we were doing wasn't really working for us. There's Henderson with the effort and a really good save there from Angus Gunn. Tipped it around the post after Jordan Henderson whipped it and looks at into that far corner, but a great save from Angus Gunn. All right, Jamie Tolgen plays in the grass. Uh, now, Salah brings him down, but it's not a foul. Here's Mo Salah. Hits the ball long. Here's Fernandez now. Wins the ball to Asensio. Asensio, I think it's pronounced his name. I can't remember now. Pronounce his name. Doesn't matter, though. Here's Salah. Liverpool working very well here. Gets in the box. And a good save there from Angus Gunn. It looks like we're just going to run out of gas here. We've not really created any chances here in the second half. So I'm expecting here another def uh, defeat here to Liverpool. And obviously continue our poor run against him. There's Haaland now through and goal. Erling Haaland said the inside of the post. And uh, if we scored then, we would have had half a chance to get something out of this game. But it looks like it's not going to be our day today, unfortunately. All right, full time here at Anfield, and it's finished 3 1 to Liverpool. And uh, in the end, it was a deserved victory for the uh, Liverpool squad and uh, Pep Guardiola's side. So disappointingly, we lose our first game in the Premier League, but uh, we can still hold our heads up high. The fact we won 10 games in the Premier League without uh, defeat. Uh, with that defeat, though, we have slipped now to uh, third place in the table. Man City and Man United have a leapfrogged this, and Liverpool have caught up with us a little bit as well. So uh, now the, the question is going to be, how are we going to react? Are we going to go on a little bit of a dodgy run, or are we going to react positively? So you're yeah, looking ahead of the fixtures, uh, we can certainly get back on track here and uh, push that defeat aside to Liverpool. Um, games against Norwich in the Premier League, followed by Stoke, Huddersfield, Wolves and Burnley. Certainly all winnable games. So in the uh, the next episode, what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to go forward a little bit ahead of time and uh, we'll join you guys in the Chelsea and Valencia game here in the first week of December. Obviously all these games in the meantime are winnable. I expect to see plenty of green in here for the next time you join us and hopefully we'll maintain our uh, Champions League push, I guess. But uh, there you have it. So uh, thanks so much for watching the episode. Hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, do me a favor, smash a like on the video. And if you want to see more videos by me in the future, uh, please hit subscribe, turn notifications on. Thank you so much for watching. See you guys soon. Goodbye, everyone. Goodbye.